recording? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Hello, okay, wait. Can you do the clap? Then we can. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. She all the other small. Wait, yeah, introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to DDC's uh, first ever series of um, Getting to Know. So today we have our resident choreographer with, uh, with us, which is Vernon. Uh, why not you let us uh, have an introduction of yourself? Oh, uh, hi everyone. Uh, my, my name is Vernon. Uh, what else do you all need to know? Um, how about um, your past experiences in dance and like when do you right. first begin to start dancing? Oh, okay. Uh, basically, I've been dancing since I was 14 years old. Yeah, so that is about... Uh, oh, <laughs> almost 18 years ago 18 to 10 18 to uh, no actually 20 years ago 20 years yeah ago. so uh how i started dance is when i was in my secondary school mm. then uh, uh at that time there was no youtube okay i think youtube is only on 2000 plus so when i when i first uh, got into contact with dance is only through videos mm. like what we call as like, dvds or oh, even like those they buy, they put onto the yes. store. Yeah. So usually, what uh the artists do, right? Uh, usually when they have their concert, right? Then after that, they will record and then they will put in DVDs <laughs> wow. and then they will sell. Mm. Okay. So we got our channel through DVDs or that. So we will literally buy. Mm. Yeah. I think it's nineteen dollars or ninety to twenty dollars something like Ooh. that. Yeah, yeah. And then those. So DVDs, we will copy lor. Uh, by that time, we don't know something called like biting. You know, we will mm. just copy holes. Uh. Will, uh copy a bit and then we just dance our own mm. yeah so either our own leisure or sometimes we do like uh, uh, uh because i was a prefect also in my secondary oh. school yeah so we will do a performance that i usually be the one who lead the team oh yeah so i enjoy watching performance mm. uh, and at the time uh i don't know much about the different genre it's just dance uh. when i see dance i enjoy but mostly towards uh, mtv we call mtv style yeah. MTV style. Yeah, MTV style. Who were some of the um, individuals that artists? You, yeah, that you look out for when you try and buy or like um, yeah. maybe those that inspired okay, you to yeah. start in the first place? Definitely movie. Michael Jackson oh. and Sync. Yeah. And Backstreet yeah. Boys. Then there's also like this uh soloist like uh Britney Spears. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, even like Jennifer Lopez at that time. Ricky Martin also has mm. the move, yeah. Uh, back then, you were saying that you all use DVD to start dancing. Yes. So, there was was there any like guidance, guidance or like any studios open at that point in time that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Maybe mm. there is. Yeah. Mm. May maybe because if it's two wait, let me think. When I was fifteen, it's two thousand. I don't think so yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe there is, but it's very few. Mm. Yeah, but I know when I start to be more serious in dance, and there are a few studios open up already. Yeah, that was during when you were. Uh, 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 JC. JC JC to uni time. No, sorry, JC to army then uni time. Oh, so you yeah. you were getting more into serious dancing. Yeah, so I stopped a while. So actually, when I was second school, uh -huh. I actually danced a lot. Yeah, uh -huh. but uh, uh, it's only when we have uh performance we don't do comp uh, we, we do competition once in a while mm. yeah but very little yeah like like uh the, the first competition i did in my second school time is with jamil, jamil. I, I think uh some some of the people they, they will know uh, yeah jamil mm. yeah so um even before freezing started mm. right yeah so uh, that was my very very first competition then after that i go towards uh when i was in jc i i stopped dancing i do badminton uh, play other other thing. Then I go army also didn't really dance a lot. Mm. Yeah, okay. only in uni then I go to NTU. Uh, studio and then oh. uh, NTU uh, MJ. Then I start to be more serious about it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So moving on to this point, yeah. when do you first realize that uh you didn't just want to dance because now yeah. right now you are quite a famous instructor in Singapore. Ah uh, no 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 no. no, no. <laughs> okay, it's not famous, yeah. uh, when do you have the realization that you just did that you didn't just want to dance but you wanted to teach dance mm. to other people also? Mm, I I guess I was uh I like to share a lot. Mm. I know it when I, I I know I like the job of sharing when I was young already because I've been in the 
more leadership role. Mm. Yeah, like in my in my secondary school, I'm I I'm the chairman, and then yeah, so I I I just like to, um, I like to lead. At the same time, uh, when I was in um, uh, uh, MJ, I did a lot of sharing. Mm. Fortunately, there is there's a lot of opportunity for me. Mm. Yeah, because I have a bit of background mm. at that point of time. Also because I take class frequently at studio. Mm. Yeah. So uh so with that right I I I like I just like to uh watch people grow mm. to learn the craft and then putting on their own. Mm. Yeah. So uh that turning point is actually when I was in um uni year three. Year three. Yeah, when I went overseas. You know usually when people when they go exchange right they don't we don't really study, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we, we just want to know the culture there, and then we just uh, uh I mean, study is secondary mm. when we go study section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was very, really, very into dance. So I went. Um, my course is marine times engineering. So we actually got a, a chance to go to Norway. Norway. Uh, Oslo. I uh, I got to this dance studio called Oslo Street Dance Studio. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, and. At that point, it had just so happened that they have an like an audition for new so called like perform performance team. Mm. Yeah. So uh, once I go there, then I say then it, the, the the person actually asked me uh where I'm from. Then I say I'm from Singapore or I would like to dance. Then say hey, why not you join us like uh, for the the audition? Mm. Then I tried. Then fortunately, I I got through. Uh. So at that point of time, uh, I only paid a bit for a few lessons. Then after that, it's free. Oh. So I was there every day, every day, uh, yeah. So literally every day, Monday to Friday, yeah. Only weekends I will actually explore around Oslo, mm. yeah. So I get to take class a lot. That is also the turning point where my style changes and I got to know, I got to understand more about, um, what hip hop is. I was under the guardians of the this guy called Rodrigo Vilna, mm. yeah. Then he he's from Brazil, so he actually uh his style is more. Uh, I, I'm not sure if y'all still know like Nick Bay style mm -hmm. like uh, yeah, Kenny Woman the old, all the very old like old slick, slick style mm -hmm. I, I would call them uh, slick yeah so because they dance for like JT all these people yeah like mm -hmm. uh, uh, Usher all this yeah so uh, then that then I frequent a lot then I I get to I say I would say obsessed uh, with the whole dance thing so I tell myself actually um since like I'm um, year three already, year four I would and, and at that point when I when I was doing my intern, I don't really enjoy my office work. Yeah, so I told myself, okay, why not I try for one year? Uh, yeah, teach. yes, teach dance. Uh, not not just uh, pers not just doing show but like teaching. At studios. Yeah, so at that time I, I got a very good uh uh mentor called Sheila Chong. Yeah, but but now I I I, I don't think she I don't know whether she still dance, yeah, but uh uh she was my very very first uh mentor. Yeah, and mm. she taught me a lot, really, really a lot. A lot. Mm. Yeah, in terms of dance, in terms of um like uh advisors of dance as a career. Yeah, all these things. Yeah. So I, I would have to say my she's my biggest mentor in my life. Mm. Yeah. When you first decided that you wanted to do full time teaching uh for dance, right. was there any kind of uh, fears or anxieties that you had? Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh when uh of course I would I have to discuss with my whole family, not just my parents and my brothers also. Yeah, because uh, at the time when we started, I think my dad is going to retire soon. Maybe not so soon, but maybe in five, another five years time. Mm. So of course, when I plan this thing, it's not a guarantee that I can earn enough income for the family. Yeah. So, uh, I did tell them I uh, can. I did tell my parents like, um, maybe give me, uh, one year to try. I was actually very amb ambitious. Actually, I say half a half a year. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> don't quote <call> me. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really hard because mm. I, I'm not as, even established. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you cannot rush things. So I, I told myself, uh, because at that half year, right, I never really, uh, when I started, my income is really low, like a few hundred, mm. nah, not even that, but I, I still have some savings, so it's still okay. Yeah, so, uh, but because my brothers are all uh, MOE teachers, then the pay is, of course, much different. Yeah, 
so I have to weigh uh, so uh, but fortunately my parents are uh, are very uh, quite open minded they are receptive of that yeah then they they say okay let you try first yeah so I would have to say at that point of time be also because uh, studio will help me a lot a lot yeah teaching is really not that simple okay so uh, the sharing dance and teaching dance is two separate things yeah sharing is easy because when you share something up people already want to buy it yeah some like sharing with your friend yeah but when you're teaching a new group right you have to understand that they are may not be in line with you so how do you connect these two lines together yeah like if you were to choose like one favorite moment or something that you always moment remember as, in... as a like something maybe an achievement or like um some performance that may you really right, proud of right. who you are as a person as a dancer or maybe uh, for your crews that you had oh, in the past uh, wow wow a lot eh so <laughs> just to give context yeah yeah how I, I, I went through your Instagram yeah. then I saw like different like there's NTUMG over there and yes. then there was also like BQN yeah yeah, yeah so Kampong, like yeah. MJ is just a, a, a the club. club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, of course it's still there. It's, it's still there. there. Yeah, it's yeah. still going on strong yeah. now. Uh, Blacken is uh there, but uh okay because um uh Blacken is have a long history actually before mm. before, before you I join. come in yeah before all the all boys team come in they, they are a group of girls who do hip hop. Oh yeah. Okay. So their their identity is all girls. Mm. Yeah, so if you search the history, yeah, uh, it was started by Kate and uh, a few other friends, Ida, Asinda, they all. Mm. Okay, and then um, uh, after that, for a while, I think they, the some of the girls, they have their own pathway. So, so Kate revamped it, and then they she sort of like uh, asked like Ali, like mm. me, Erwin, Ida, uh, uh, to, to come in. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so... Uh, wow, but honestly, I don't know. I forget when, which year is that? Yeah, mm. it's quite a while, like at least five plus years already. Mm. Not even five plus, like more than that. Yeah. Since you last right when yeah. So at a time when we were dance, it's still actively. Also mm. because I'm young. Yeah. At that time, yeah. Then okay. Then going now, but now right. We, so there, there is a jet black, you know. Ah uh, 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 Why is it called jet black? Like, like Japan blackness, you know. We just like ja Japanese style, uh. oh, mm. Yeah. So these are the junior of. Blackenese, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. which is Dion, they are, mm. yeah. They are the one that is like somewhat the current generation. Yeah, yeah, the, the, those are teaching at DP right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, Lee Rong, they are, yeah. Mm. So, uh, the main Blackenese, we, uh, we all have our separate Your... pathway already. Mm. Yeah, like Ita is at his job and he's uh, with more legacy and sometimes DP. Then, Owen also has his job. Then, mm myself converge mm. yeah then we have our leaf and kate running dp mm. you know yeah yeah so but of course we will still come out one, once in a while to catch up uh catch up or also like if there is a guest performance you know mm. then we will try we will try to try to come just together. come together mm. yeah wow. yeah mm. yeah oh zai zai like zai also in old school yeah so uh, the, the 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 good thing is like black and is mixed up of different members of Different, different yes, studios. different studio also. Mm. So we get to share which other our experience, not in terms of just dancing, but how is it like teaching, you know, oh. and uh, uh like different uh, like you, you find that you you learn a lot from mm. each of them, yeah. Mm. Is there any um dancers that like stand out to you that you like, you you kind of like their style more the way they move? Mm. Or is I it don't just... have a fixed like favorite dancer. Mm. Like to me, uh, I enjoy dancers who are very good in their craft. Mm. So it can be really very different. It can be really like uh very far fetched. Like I even enjoy watching a ballet performance. You know, like I I I, I don't I, I don't um uh, restrict myself to actually just one style. When I dance, of course, my preference is hip hop. Mm. But when I see dance itself, I see dance as different form. Mm. So if the person is very good in their craft, then I will enjoy. Yeah. Mm. So but you want to say if really there's a uh, a kind of uh, place that I will go to to really up my craft, which oh. I enjoy more, is Japan. Mm. Yeah, because I'm I'm uh, people know me as a very technical person. Yeah, I define techniques a lot. Yeah, mm. so it's it's so it's also because I when we are trained in studio, also we are trained in that Thanks. way. Yes, yeah. So yeah, so these are our like basics. Mm. 
Yeah, so I am also I enjoy techniques, mm. techniques class. Yeah, so I will demand the same for my students also. Mm. Yeah, then uh, Japan, as you know, Japan is very uh, famous for training hip hop basics. Mm. Yeah, uh, so like uh, Big Body Boy is my one of my uh, idol. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now yeah. with the same question, yeah, uh, who's your favorite DDC member? Oh wow, <laughs> what? <laughs> no way, no, I, I cannot name one. Yeah, it's, uh, there, there are a lot. Mm. There are a lot, yeah. Okay, yeah. so giving up. Yeah, politically the... correct, correct answer. answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my batch, mm. we are more acquainted with you rather than Z or Winnie because okay. you came in as we came in at the same right, time. Right. So, uh, I'm pretty sure many of us are curious, like, um, how do you first come to know about D Hoppers or DDC? Z. Z. Yeah. Okay, that was the first answer of it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us are actually also curious, like, yeah. how do you come to know Z and Winnie? Because mm. she was from NUS, yeah. but you were from NTU, right. so like, there's no link So there. a little bit of background, Winnie mm. is from Studio Wu also, Z oh. also from Studio Wu. Yeah. So that's where y'all met, and then right. they gradually brought you over to like, All right. be yeah. and to so, show you. No, I think it's because Z, uh, Z will have a, a guest instructor over or sometimes mm. teach courses, yeah. open courses. So at that time also I teach in Studio Wu, then I, I do hip hop also. Mm. We also do hip hop. Yeah. yeah. So they just want us to train uh, to help train a bit. Mm. Yeah. So and then I slowly mm. um got to know he hops a bit more. Yeah. Then you're now a resident choreographer. Yeah. <laughs> so because yeah yeah I have to thank Z like uh, she brought me to uh, ascendance as a guest instructor for almost uh, every year, I think. I think since the yeah, start. Yeah, 11, 13, 15. No, no not 11, it, right? I don't think 11. Yeah, I think the first yeah, one was 13. 13. Yeah, so it's really all. 13, mm. 15, 17, 19, I was, I mm. was there all the way. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so yeah, so then you can see the club getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Out of these four right. items, um, the most recent one was Luigi yeah, that you Luigi, did. Yeah. And there was another one that was titled Greed in 2015. 15, yeah. Yeah. Seven scenes. Seven scenes. The yeah. theme then was seven scenes. Yeah. yeah. So um how was the experience for you back then when you first choreographed for D Hoppers? Not just D Hoppers, because we also open to public as well. Uh open to public as well. Mm -hmm. Oh you mean when I teach Ascendance. Uh, ascendance. Because uh, ascendance is we let right, uh, right. outside people public, come yeah. in also. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Mm. I I feel for my item people, they are mm, okay. I when I, when I uh of course the first few time when I choreograph they they wouldn't know how because my my work isn't put out there quite often mm. so they don't know what they are in getting into. But as they slowly know, right? Uh, I'm a person who like to explore. So uh, like given a concept, right? I I will I will really need the concept first. Like uh, even there's no concept, you still must tell me what is the objective for. Yeah, so then I will, after that, right, uh, I will explore, I will just find the song, all that. And my my students will, uh, they, okay, they, they don't really do, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's fully hip hop, mm. it's, a, it's a fusion. Mm. Yeah, so of, then the demand will be there. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm not to be one of, maybe that's the challenging part for, for them. Mm. But, but the thing is, they still deliver because they are. Every time they come in, they will know that oh, they are in for some like challenge. Uh, uh, not not so shit. <laughs> yeah, they are in for some challenge. Yeah, mm. yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's always ch ch a challenge for mm. them. Uh, yeah, mm. because I need them to portray certain character or certain style. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like still having their own identity, but at the same time, they need to pull off some something. You mm. know. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, my my other people they are they are really hardworking. Uh, mm. to say yeah. Since all the since start since the start yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, just uh, interest. hopefully future also <laughs> la. Future. So we are thinking that you're doing a sentence for us next year also. Oh, I haven't seen the COVID period. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, if yeah. it happens, but of of course uh, mm, of course yeah, I'll be meeting. You have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to. I'm I'm pretty sure jumping from a guest instructor mm. to. Being our RC yeah. have been quite a huge spike in responsibility. Yes, yes. So looking at this, mm. um, what made you decide that 
you want to take over this role from Z uh, the previous year? Mm. Because they are very hardworking. <laughs> yeah, because uh, DDC has always known, like uh, they, they push, I, 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 I myself witnessed them, uh, witnessed your growing up from uh, from very long time. Mm. Yeah, then every time when I go to teach, I always enjoy my journey there. You know, to the Stephen Radius, mm. Ryan, Ryan 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 Scott, uh, yeah. colleague. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, I just en enjoy teaching. Uh, uh, then I uh, I know that you are very bonded together. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. Just just enjoy the whole culture of DDC. What kind of uh, improvements would you like to see from us in our future mm. as we go ahead as yeah. uh, trying to get better as a crew? Yeah. Itself? I know you you guys have been like on the freestyle you mm. also do a lot. Uh uh the, the, the thing I want to see about the the hops actually not just DDC is to uh the, actually one main thing is to go out and explore. Mm. Take class. Mm. Yeah, okay. So because uh, by I'm not asking you to like purposely why why you take class because there is a lot of things that you can learn from class. Mm. You can learn from the instructor, the style, the intention. Mm. You can also see how other students dance. Mm. Yeah. So in a way, you actually get more than what you wanted. How do I perfect my craft? I watch a lot. Mm. Yeah. How do I know what I want? Like literally, you have to observe and. And I, I don't just watch on YouTube, but I will go. Uh, I used to take class often also. Mm. Yeah, so I get to see a lot of things. Mm. Yeah, so it helps me also understand that, oh, uh, eventually when I become a choreographer, then I will have all this experience or thoughts process. Yeah, then I can place on my own, you know. Mm. Yeah, so so in a way, I feel sometimes um, uh, the, the hops, when they choreograph something, is like. Uh, is fixed to a certain set certain genre that we yeah uh, yeah certain genre mm. i'm not talking about uh i'm not talking about the old choreographer i'm talking about the newer choreographer of like, the dc like, mm. like i don't know like yeah. I, I don't have a name you know maybe the current yeah. batch yes 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 mm. yeah so when i uh actually we did i, I even discussed with uh winnie i think and z at the time i say like it, it, it almost took similar also because you're trained together a lot of time Moving ahead, right? If you want a bigger variety of, uh, because hip hop is so vast, you know, mm -hmm. it's not just like a uh, 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 old school or middle school or new school. Mm -hmm. There are really different ways to play it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah. So the whole culture is really big. So, and the delivery, the thought process, or it can be really a huge thing. Yeah. So, uh, it's not everything just technique, technique. You know, sometimes you can portray certain things. Yeah, so it is really good to go out and explore more and to take classes out there. Yeah. Mm. Our recruitment phase is gonna for DDC. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna start very soon as our school term picks up. Mm. So with regards to our future crew members, mm. uh, what kind of mindset or characteristics would you like to would you hope to mm. see from them as we accept them into mm. our crews? Uh, open minded. Yeah, definitely that's one of them. Uh, also regardless of your, I feel your dance level. Yeah, so regardless of your dance level, if you join uh, uh, the hops, uh, I feel yeah, the open-minded and also the eagerness to to learn mm. and don't be so um, do not put such a how to say. Uh, do not be too harsh on yourself because sometimes it takes time to really learn something. Mm. Yeah, I find that uh, this is my own observation. I find that uh, newer generation they tend to have a timeline for their uh, improvement. So I find that this this kind of uh, thinking it will how to say uh, in English don't throw fun chow or what. You know, you'll backfire. Oh, yeah. yeah, so like you, you understand <laughs> Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It will backfire on them because it will block them, you know, from going ahead. Yeah. So which uh which I hope they will be like more like okay, uh I know I cannot get certain dance steps, I will just practice, you know, or say like hey, yeah, you know why 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 instead of asking yourself why I cannot do this, why I cannot do this, like like stop just stop that thinking like sometimes if your mind is too caught up with all these things, like you can find that you really cannot improve a lot. Mm. Yeah. So that's basically Generally, what I see in most students, mm -hmm. the newer one right now, mm -hmm. yeah. So give yourself a little bit more time to 
Never master your craft. Mm. Actually, this is the last question that I have for you. Okay. Um, do you have any words of wisdom that you like to impart? Oh, the, I, current, I, the current? The current or the senior Just generation? Just be open-minded. Then what about and then hardworking. Mm. Alumni? Like short Alumni? On... Come back. Uh. Come back. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be... Don't be uh, don't... You can come back anytime. Uh. I mean, like, the house always welcome. Always welcome. Back, you know? mm. Yeah. So just continue to, uh, even though we are in different walks of life, that after your dance, we will still sometimes, uh, uh, even my brother, like he will still watch uh, dance. dance video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so we don't be a stranger. Like we just say hi once in a while, catch up with them. Mm. Right. Mm. Okay. That's all that we have for today. Uh, thanks Vernon for yeah, agreeing to you. this interview and um, look out for the next one coming. Okay. okay. Yeah, bye. Bye.